Gamers, what is good it is Dom here back once again. We are playing Black One Blood Brothers. I'm very excited to show you this game. This was a very random game that I came across on one of those uh, like game review key distribution sites, Lurk It. And uh, I thought it looked interesting. And my God, when I found out, I just kept diving deeper and deeper into the rabbit hole of this game of how much content was created by one person. I was very very impressed so i wanted to show it off a bit more here today starting off the campaign so we have the official and we have a dynamic campaign here so the official campaign we have 10 missions for uh, serpent's whisper part one then into part two and then into the complete which i imagine is just everything all together is one so i guess we can just go in here to serpent's whisper the complete campaign experience here. The insurgent group known as the New World has perpetrated a wave of deadly attacks just a few days, causing thousands of victims in the United States, France, India, Japan, and England. Our intelligence services have confirmed the organization has received massive financial support, allowing it to plan and execute these attacks in just a few months. Valid campaign. Let's do medium. We got medium, semi realistic, reduced interface, end of campaign reward 640,000 XP. And we'll stick to normal here in. Valid difficulty. Customize your squad wisely for the entire duration of the campaign. Once the squad chosen, you will not be able to change the operational skills or anything like that. Oh my goodness. Um, I'm going to... I want to show this off here first in the video. Before I go in and... We're just going to use a default crew here, I feel like. But I do want to show off the amount of customization in this game. It is just insane in the membrane. So... You can change the height of your person, you can change the face, you can change the skin, you can change the eyes, you can change the tone of their voice, what accent they have, you can change their hair, you can give them a big old beard, and give them some eyebrows, give them some tattoos, change up their name, see what type of stance they prefer to be in. You have operator skills that determine things like their stamina, how much they can carry, you know, when you're messing with explosives, lock picking, you know, medics. Insanity to say the least. Made by one person. So yeah, and hopefully they continue to just add more and more content because wow, it's like you would think a whole team made this. Then we get into here. We can customize a lot of what we're wearing be able to change all of the camos you can apply it to everything also just make it pretty quick across the board here um, you can give you know different patches here i believe there's actually some steam workshop mods for these patches too which is really cool to see but yeah ultimately a ton of customization for this game and my goodness my goodness goodness and they just added in a weapon gunsmith so you start here you know and then you can add in piece after piece for your gun you can change you know how far up on the railing you want to add it um can i add in two uh sights on this one or a side scope i don't know on this one in particular but yeah there is tons and tons of customization on this game so i could spend a lot of time talking about it showcasing it but i do want to get into the game here so let's go back yeah like here's all the grenades and explosives drones and shields let's go back to the uh, official options here and I think maybe let's do a mercenary team I think that's a fair route we want to go here the game reminds me of one of my most favorite games ever playing as a kid which was SOCOM US Navy SEALs so if you're a fan of that or SWAT or ARMA or the OG Rainbow Six or um, Ghost Recon You'll, you'll definitely find some stuff to love with this game here. 
not gonna spend all the time reading it here. We know what our mission is here. We need to go in there, kill this terrorist. Operation Serpent Whisper. Additional notes by joining the Black One Unit. You're among the finest operators in the corners of the globe. Thank you, Commander Jubert. Alrighty, there is our group here. Starting off with the Dune Strike. We have our mission briefing. We can change our loadouts here. And we can get a look at, here's our crew. So let's go in here, briefing, locations compound. It's at night, good and dry for the weather. It's a little inaccurate for the objective localization. No random inserts, uh, no unforeseen events here. Following attacks, intelligence indicates the presence of terrorist cells in desert area. Cells believed to be responsible for planning and executing the attacks. Locate the terrorist cell, killer leaves, retrieve information, potential future targets. Let's go to deployment here and let's enable my whole squad, the whole group, the whole shebang. And let's get into it here. That's just... <laughs> I can't believe one person made this. Like we have a cutscene going into the loading here to take us into the mission. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, that's not all here. Getting into the mission, I'll show you in a second. But let's see, where are we going here? We started off in Southern Africa. We're going up near Pakistan, I believe. Oh my goodness. I should probably figure out. Someone's going to be like, oh, no, it's actually Iran or something. I don't know. My apologies there. All right. Choose an assertion point. So we can split the team in half, but I'm just going to bring the whole team together. Uh, looks like we only have helicopter inserts, but let's get ready fairly close up here. And this is our attack map view here. So we know that we have to recover some data. We have to neutralize the two terrorist leaders down that way. So that's where we're going to insert up here. And we'll go swing across, neutralize this guy and extract over this way, the helicopter. Operation Dune Strike. Location Compound. Now this is not just for all show the campaign. This is also for your normal missions too. As you saw me picking to insert via helicopter, there's different cutscenes depending on if you arrive, if you're showing up via, you know, underwater, propelling, uh, helo jumping you know, Halo Jump, I should say, like it, it's pretty cool. So, and yeah, you can see, I can, you know, switch it up a good bit, my stances. So my guys are already spying on a bunch of people. I can play this more like a strategy game too and go from this view. I do hope they add in like a different, um, you know, viewpoint here. I'm not too crazy about seeing it. I like to see it more on like the, like, this view even if it is the night vision because it's nighttime not to kind of cheat it but i like this it looks pretty cool but probably not ideal long term looking at you know in my opinion so let's go here um oh shoot can i take off my binos it's actually not too bad right now i don't think i'm gonna wear binos for this then it's not super dark there's a guy down that way. Um, and you can play this on different difficulties. So I don't have like, I think I'm about to hit J. No, J so J is how you can move your guys around. Um, what is it? Options, input settings, 
photo mode, high UI. I, uh, was it hold J? I guess these are the same buttons. Or maybe it's J when you're in the photo mode. That's what it is. So I'm going to move up my speed on the bottom left. You see there, I can kind of start walking and then run and then kind of like a really slow walk just by scroll wheel. But so that's about 300 meters off. This one's actually only 170 meters. And this is for, um, I gotta figure out how to go in and check my objectives here. I can also do, yes, third person. So there is the, um, you know, option here if you wanna do third person. I typically do third person for like these, like, you know, I play a lot of uh, like the Ghost Recon style, but, you know, or like Arma, but let's, let's do first person here for this one, so. Alrighty, there it is. So recover the data and neutralize two terrorist leaders. I believe this is recovering the data up here, so I'm gonna run back up this way. Then we're gonna go here kind of wish I had a sniper. Oh, also, now's a good time to show this. So if I hit uh, tab, I can switch at any moment to any of these guys. Any of these people here, I can just, boom, I am them. And it's just a seamless transition between them all. So... I know once we go loud, we're... We're in it. We're in the thick of it. So I'm trying not to immediately go loud, even though th the guy realistically could probably see us like right there. So. Bing bong. He's gone. We got a guy up there. Got him. Contact. All right, we got some more contacts on our left. Got to watch out for. There's this guy. Thank you very much. We know that should be within this area. So task is spotted. Recover the data. Maybe I got close enough so it's already telling me or just in an area that's close enough here. I wonder if I can jump through that little window. Oh, some people are nearby. All right, let's go and steal this dude's uh, laptop. So I have 70% skill in electronics, so I'm guessing it determines how fast I can go and uh, steal it there. Excuse me, friend Obendo. Alrighty. We probably got a guy inside here. I'm gonna try to ignore him so we can go on with our life and head out to where we have to neutralize the two leaders. So we got a guy roaming around. There we go. I mean, heck, I could have soloed this. I didn't even need all you guys with me. You guys are just kind of like comfort backup at this point. So. I probably could have bumped the difficulty up to a little bit, I imagine. We'll get a little risky and crazy probably in this next section here. So. Alrighty, let's, let's get a good view of what's going on here i don't believe there's any vehicles currently it'd be really cool insertion wise that there are vehicles or even like set up some um that you know the baddies can have you know on these objectives that you have to like blow up stuff because there's you know explosives and everything so it'd be it's already kind of there to to do the damage to them all righty
Hmm. Let's take it a little bit slower. I am going to order one of our teammates, I think Peter, to lock pick it. Thank you. Anybody in here? Hello? Anyone home? Hello? Nobody. Okay. Alrighty. One guy down. Task spotted. Ah, they're over here. The two guys are over this way. You know, uh, maybe let's show this off right here, okay? So we have this view and let's just get some use out of it. So I'm gonna send um, this guy, add a member, oh shoot. I don't wanna do everybody. I'm trying to remember how I can only click certain people. But you can see where you have the formations, the orders, instant orders, you know, really auto rules of engagement. So we have a ton here. Um, let's I'm going to send Roman out and I'm going to set this to real time. So everyone's kind of doing their own thing. Um, Roman, you don't need to be running so quickly. Also, I'm going to set the fire and will. There you go. I kind of don't want every... Is that because that's who I'm playing, right? Hold on. I just realized that's who I'm playing as. I was like, why is everyone going so crazy? He's also probably the highest, like, skilled guy there. So, all right, Peter, you go up in here. Oh. Oh, dang. How'd you see him? What's your skill level at, dude? All right, because I want him to... Come around here and just go and mop these guys right in that window right there. I mean, they're literally, they're like, they're like, come on. They're talking to each other. Just go and take care of them. You got this, Peter. Come on, Peter. Bing, bang. Yeah, good job. And that's all she wrote. We do have to go and grab a briefcase. I am going to go and tell the whole squad to follow us because otherwise Peter will just be lost out here wherever we're at. Let's open this up. Mission accomplished. We got our briefcase and we need to find the evac area which isn't too far away so let's go up here real quick and we'll call for mission number one all righty hopefully they do end the uh end of mission you know getting exfilled with the heli or however you exfil like on a boat or whatever hopefully they add that That'd be pretty cool too. So, but at least the infiltration is pretty awesome to see. We have a hundred percent. I killed nine enemies. We didn't break stealth. Um, you know, completed all the tasks. No one wounded. Nothing. Nothing bad. So, that is a big team. I will say we got. We definitely got the dream team out there. Rolling. So. Alrighty, well that's what we're going to call it right here, but next time we'll be on Green Ghost. So we'll be out in the forest during the daytime. Alrighty gamers, well I will see you all next time. Take care.